You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Bahrain Defense Force General Command. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, Commander of the Royal Guard Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officers. During the visit, the results and success of last year's training programs have been discussed in addition to the preparation for the coming phase of developing training methods in line with modern scientific and practical capabilities so as to improve the performance of BDF affiliates. His Majesty the King commended the outstanding efforts in dealing with advanced training programs so as to perform their noble duties to protect the country and its development march in addition to its national unity. He also called for the continuation of coordination and cooperation with friendly and brotherly countries in the service of good and peace. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the noble national efforts of all BDF affiliates, wishing them further success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses discussed the positive outcomes of the Government Forum 2016 that support the Government's efforts to continue the march of development to the Kingdom and its strategies to provide high living standards for the citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the Forum and hailed his initiatives in the optimal utilization of human resources in order to improve the Government's service and its productivity. The Royal Highnesses also discussed topics on regional and international concerns and stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation and coordination on an international level. They also praised the diplomatic march in the Kingdom led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and its efforts to enhance cooperation with other countries in spite of the security and economic challenges on the regional and global levels. They affirmed that the purpose of achieving development and improvement in Bahrain is to achieve aspirations of the people. The Royal Highnesses then hailed the achievements of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and the leader of the Bahrain Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on winning the third place globally and the first in the Arab world in the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia. They hailed the several accomplishments made by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his efforts in enhancing Bahrain's position internationally in the field of sports. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Glebia Palace today the Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mullah, Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh, and a number of MPs and senior state officials in the presence of former Representative Speaker Khalifa Al Bahrani. His Royal Highness hailed the patriotic stances of the legislative authority in defending the kingdom and facing all attempts aiming to undermine its political and human rights achievements. He highlighted the progress witnessed in the GCC despite all the challenges and called all GCC countries to be more aware against all attempts aiming to threaten the security and stability of the countries. He added that the problems and migration witnessed in several countries are the results of inside wars and conflicts and the international community should cooperate to solve these problems and achieve security and peace for these countries and their people. He also stressed the need to enhance joint Arab action to overcome all challenges. His Rohanis affirmed the continued government development and stressed the need for further performance evaluation to achieve the government and citizens' aspirations and further prosperity and progress. His Rohanis said that the Representatives Council represents the people of Bahrain and that it is important to communicate and coordinate with the Council in order to provide the suitable environment for the citizens. He affirmed the importance of the cooperation between the executive and the legislative authorities in maintaining the Kingdom's gains and achievements in all levels. He affirmed the government's keenness to cooperate and coordinate with officials in order to achieve progress in all fields. He also stressed that the Bahrainis should cooperate and unite to maintain the gains of the country, especially under the threats and challenges targeting the nation. His Royal Highness then praised the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the success and facilitation of the Hajj season.
His Royal is the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired the Libya Palace today, the weekly cabinet meeting. He commended the outcome of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's visit to Russia and his talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Prime Minister then presented the Council with outcomes of His Majesty's visit to Turkey and Russia. His Royal commended the results of the first government forum and the initiative of His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, to organize the forum. He directed to employ the results of the forum to further enhance the performance of the government on the level of services and investment to provide higher living standards for citizens and facilitate investment in the kingdom. He welcomed the returning Hajj pilgrims, wishing them health and prosperity. His Rohanis congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the successful hosting of the Hajj pilgrimage, commending the enormous efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Saudi Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Minister of Interior, and Hajj Central Committee Chairman, Prince Mohammed bin Naif Al Saud, and Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Prime Minister. Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman al Saud. His Rohan has ordered government authorities to increase the number of visits to villages and cities and to send specialized teams to study their needs in order to improve their facilities such as schools, health centers, as well as municipal and housing services. He urged speedy action regarding ramshackle buildings, particularly in Muharraq and Manama, through the Ministry of Forks and Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning's Urban Development Program. The cabinet approved the development of a new system called Flexible Work Permit issued by the Labor Market, Reg Market Regulatory Authority. They approved a draft law amending some laws of Bahrain's central bank and monetary institutions under Law 64 for 2006. In support of Iskan Bank's implementation of its future strategies and its role in providing housing services, the council approved Iskan Bank's board of directors' decision to refinance a 100 million Bahrain dinar loan to provide housing loans and finance housing projects. The cabinet approved to restructure the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and to adopt a new organizational structure after merging the two authorities. They also approved amending examining and labeling fees of precious metals in the Precious Metals and Gem Testing Directorate under the Ministry of Commerce and Tourism. They approved to refer the project regarding amending some provisions of Law 18 for 2006 for the Representative Council to the Legislative Authority. And finally, the Cabinet discussed four suggestions by the Representative Council regarding agriculture, education and public schools schools, compensating those who suffered from damage due to rainfall, an administrative body regarding litigation and reconstruction requirements in old areas. His Rohanis, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of achieving the third place in the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia and topping the Arabs' competitors list. His Rohanis stressed that this achievement is a result of Sheikh Nasser's efforts in leading Bahrain's equestrian team. He added that such a victory proves that Bahraini youth can achieve great results and highlight the kingdom's name in regional and international events. His Rohanis, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, thanking her for her earlier cable of congratulations regarding the success of the government forum under the patronage of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, expressed his wishes of more prosperity and development for the kingdom and its people under the leadership of His Majesty King. Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. He also expressed appreciation and pride of the support given by Her Royal Highness to Bahraini women through leading the Supreme Council for Women to ensure giving women equal opportunities. He thanked Her Royal Highness and wished her abundant health and happiness. Earlier, Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, had sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. She expressed admiration for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's initiative to launch the first government forum, 2016, held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and attended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, whose participation, she said, enriched the event. Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika, hailed the government forum 
which she described as a major national platform that brought together government executives from all levels to evaluate the national achievements and determine the challenges in order to implement Economic Vision 2030, which is built upon the principles of suitability, competitiveness and fairness being the pillars of national development, aiming to develop the Bahraini citizens in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She expressed sincere congratulations to His Royal the Crown Prince on the outstanding success of the Gamut Forum, which she described as a quantum leap in the Gamut work management to ensure the constant follow-up on the implementation of Bahrain economic vision, and highlighted its results which reflected directly on the national economy. The Forum was also a proof of the ability to face challenges and adapt them to ensure the continuity and stability of national action for the best interest of the citizens' social welfare and social stability. She affirmed the Supreme Council for Women's unwavering support to the work of all state institutions, including the Gamut, which she said, is playing its commendable role in integrating the Bahraini women's needs in the development process. The Supreme Council for Women president valued highly His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's close follow-up and clear directives to ensure that the government action plan is based on equal opportunities to enable Bahraini women to reach the status they deserve. She wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince further success in bringing about more gains to ensure promising and bright future for the kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended the reception ceremony held by former President of the United States, Bill Clinton, for leaders and head of delegations participating in the Clinton International Initiative, which was held in New York. Sheikh Khalid conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, to former President Bill Clinton and their wishes for him of abundant health and success in his endeavors, including his strive aimed at coming up with solutions for problems through the Clinton International. The the Minister of Foreign Affairs also participated in the annual opening meeting for Clinton International Initiative where he affirmed on such important initiative in boosting peace and stability efforts in various parts of the world, including providing aims to support joint challenges, threats that international community is facing. The Clinton International Initiative was established in 2007 by Bill Clinton for where annual meetings are held during September in New York with the participation of a number of leaders, heads of states, ministers and media personnel for the purpose of exchanging views and consultations on matters related to current and future issues of countries of the world. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited Amna bin Wahab Elementary Girls School, where she, where he rather, presented the school with a Quality of Education Award, awarded from the government forum. He conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as they both commended the school for its outstanding achievement. The minister affirmed that this achievement reflects the support provided from the wise leadership to the education in the Kingdom. He pointed out that the school performance development project that the ministry has been implementing since 2008 has helped enhance the quality of educational services. He commended the efforts of the school principal, Badria Swaleh, and affirmed that the ministry will continue to implement programs and projects in order to achieve further progress. For her part, Swaleh expressed thanks and appreciation for this honoring, affirming that the support of the education ministry helped in accomplishing this achievement. The students of the school then expressed thanks and appreciation for the wise leadership support affirming their keenness to exert more efforts in order to achieve further progress. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the attendance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first government forum was inaugurated yesterday, another step in improving the lives of Bahraini citizens. Sar al Break reports. The Government Forum 2016 opening ceremony took place under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the attendance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. We are civil servants, so we are supposed to be serving the citizen. Being able to communicate properly on all levels with all our colleagues in different ministries, cross boundaries, would definitely enable you, first, to serve well the citizen, second, to think out of your box, to think what are the things that I can really compete against my own colleagues. But at the same time, this is a major challenge for us because now it is said clearly that this is the direction. The question is, what are we going to do? What are the initiatives, innovative thinking, leadership, thought leadership that we are going to take forward 
to do the simple thing needed from any civil servant is to serve the citizens. The main topics under which the discussions took place were Bahrain's Vision 2030 and its achievements, how the private sector drives national growth, sustainability and advancing the infrastructure, augmenting public services innovatively, and what the government's priorities are and what Bahrain's next phase of developments will be. Coming in such a forum and coming as a gathering for the government, it's, it's really something which is like an incentives. And, and, and it will be... Um, uh, it will gather our, mainly our power, it will gather our optimism mainly to do more and more for Ministry of Health. This is the first one and I think that will accelerate our project, it will accelerate our process on, on mainly improving, the, improving all the healthcare sector in Bahrain. How could we uh, manage to have a good project, uh, involve all, all, all the concerns that you say as doctors, nursing and allied health. And thanks God that is very successful that when we started we, 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 we found that it's really an added value, it's, it's improving the results and the numbers of patients that will be need for antibiotic, the number of use of such antibiotics and even the budget which is allocated for the antibiotics it's also reduced. So it's really an added value for us and we are very proud about having such a project for, for, for Ministry of Health. The government forum is the first of its kind in the kingdom and brings together ministers and officials from all the government sectors in order to explore ways to deliver and improve the economy and the citizens' lives and well-being. Some individuals were at the opening ceremony but could not be a part of the discussions and are still enthusiastic about its outcome. This forum is such a golden opportunity uh, for me especially and my colleagues uh, in the legislative authority um, to work and to coordinate um, in a more cooperative manner with the executive authority. Uh, it's a great idea to have this kind of a forum, uh, to be aware as to where what we have achieved, where we have reached uh, since the Economic Vision 2030 was launched. The Economic Vision, for those who may not be aware, it is to deal with the um, the actual um, action plan, how to bring about uh, a betterness uh, into the economic growth of our country and in the life of the citizen. And of course, it is uh, based on three main principles, and those are of sustainability, competitiveness, and fairness. The government forum brings together the brightest minds that come together to think about how to ease the citizen's life. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain 55.